Welcome to John Gets Games. Today, my friend Anastasia is going to join us here in the studio, and we are going to play a full game of Carolus Magnus. We're going to start with a brief overview of the game, then we'll play the whole game, teaching it as we go, and then have a post-game discussion at the end. Now, I do want to ask that if you enjoy this video, that you please click the like button for it down below, as well as the subscribe button for the channel. In addition to that, if you'd like to directly support the channel and the creation of non-sponsored videos like this one in the future, then please go to patreon.com slash Games. As a supporter there, you get access to a ton of exclusive perks, like watching some videos early and advertisement-free, and this was one of those videos that was sent out early to the patrons. There's also an exclusive podcast feed where you can hear all of my vlogs in podcast form, and you can hear my opinions episodes. I have almost 100 of them at this point, discussing the hundreds of games that I've played over the last few years, the things I like and don't like about them, and I really like to go into detail there. Anyway, coming back to this game, I want to ask if while you're watching it, some part of it seems particularly interesting, or maybe you see a turn where we should have done something differently, or if you accidentally see us cheat, then please comment about those things down below because we'd love to see that kind of feedback. All right, let's jump into the game. Hey, Anastasia. Hey, John. We're playing a brown game today. Yes, we are. <laughs> Carolus Magnus. <laughs> this is a game I've heard about for years. It's a Leo Colavini design, um, and I'm so happy to be finally playing it. You've played it like once or twice online, right? Once, and I don't even think I'm going to count that as a play because I didn't know what I was doing. Okay. And I, yeah. So and I, I have not played. So arguably my first time. That works. That works. <laughs> so we, we got to get into the theme of this thing. Oh. Charlemagne has requested his contentious heirs, the players, to build castles for his security. And what am I talking about? We're trying to just get majorities on these brown tiles. Yep. Lots of cubes. Let's do it. <laughs> the cubes are paladins, <laughs> but they're cubes. Um, so this is, it seems like a pretty neat game. Uh, you and I are both fans of Leo Colvini designs. So as a really high level overview, each round, I guess, everyone has these tiles. Uh, everyone in order is going to choose one tile. Then in that order, uh, starting from the top and going down, we're all going to take turns using these cubes. We can either put them out here on these brown islands, or we can put them over here into our court, which will get us access to these majority markers, essentially. And functionally, this just means every pink cube out on these islands is a me cube <laughs> until you potentially get a majority of these in your court, which means you take this back and now the pink are your cubes. And then you move the king. And if the king lands on one of these spots that you have a majority based off of the colors that are currently yours, you put a castle down and the goal is to place 10 castles. Uh, when you put castles adjacent to each other, these lands are going to merge and make this whole kind of rondelle smaller, but probably more complicated. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't played John, this before. So. I don't think I've run into a game recently as much as this one where, like, I think you just need to see it. You just like, kind of throw yourself in. We haven't played in. it, but I'm convinced you could only, it doesn't make any sense until it's being played. <laughs> yes. So just hang in there. If you want to know how to play this game, just kind of hang in. For Let's a just minute. go for Let's it. Let's go. So you uh, were randomly decided to be the start player. Yes. So I guess you pick a action tile? Uh, yeah. So quick quick beat, just a little bit of setup. We did uh, roll these dice over here. This is how we're going to get cubes in the game. I'm sorry, what are they called? They have a name. Paladins? The we're going to get paladins. Yes. This is how we're getting... This looks a lot different than the other paladins game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're, this is how we're going to get cubes in the game. We did roll these uh, uh, equivalent of basically seven. getting seven paladins. Yeah. That's how we started with our little array. But these are in our reserve... We don't have any majorities yet. That doesn't happen until... Well, later on in this turn. We do this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So by going first, I basically get to pick one of these five numbers, and this is going to dictate how far the emperor will move. Uh, let's say how far up to how many spaces he can move. It also dictates turn order, as John said. So let's see. Do I want to go early or... And these don't replenish till after we spent all fives. Yeah. So... I have no idea. It's kind of arbitrary in the I first mean, round, especially since we don't know what we're doing. Um, John, I want to go somewhere, somewhere. I want to go far away. Five. Okay, so you. I don't know. You're highly mobile, so I don't. So I'm not allowed to play my five unless it's my only token. Right. In which case, I believe the person who played the tied uh, number goes earlier in the yeah. player order. So I have to choose one of these that is not a five. I think the first person who played it goes earlier. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Huh. And so the emperor is going to move clockwise. And it must move at least once. And yeah, I can kind of see why you did that. Because one, two, three, four, five. These first four are blue and green cubes. 
and I have a lot of yellow, so I kind of was kind of thinking maybe get over to yeah, the yellow. I don't have any blue or green. This is a weird thing because we're not going to take cubes off the board. We're basically trying to shore up our majorities, yeah. and then if we have a majority, we can place out these castles. Place out the castles is the point of the game. I want to yeah. get these 10 things out there. You're going to see this in a second. I think I'm just going to pick my three because it's right in the middle. Yep. So now this is the player order for the rest of the the, the round. So yes. I go and then you go. Yes. And on my turn, the first thing I do is I choose exactly three of my cubes from my reserve. And every cube either goes into my court, which helps me affect majorities, or out here. And huh, this is potentially interesting. I'm going to put two red cubes here. And as soon as I put the first one down, I have a majority of red cubes in my court because Anastasia has none. So I get this majority marker. Clan emblem, according to the rule book. Clan emblem. I'm just calling it majorities. Wow. <laughs> this means that red cubes are my cubes for you now. You have the red clan el- emblem. Yep. And then I will, I'm going to put a second one down. And the third cube, I am going to put out here on the board. I'm going to put it here, like one space away. Okay. Um, that's my three cube placements. Now the emperor has to move clockwise. Okay. One, two, or three times. I'm just going to move once. Okay. Uh, when the emperor lands here, I have a majority because red cubes are mine, blue cubes are nobody's, so I have more than you do, which means I can take one of my castles, put it right here, and this can get punted away. Later on, if the emperor arrives back here and you now have a majority, you swap your castle for mine. So it's not permanent, but this also counts as one majority power for me exactly um then the last thing i do is roll the dice i get a yellow a red and then a wild uh this shows the five colors on it once and then a wild side so i think considering the current situation i'm gonna take a green and i'm done i like it this has a little bit of a this dice if you've ever played masons as a another older leo covini the dice the rolling dice for resources is something i think i've seen a lot in his early designs yeah um or in these two designs let's not over but don't <laughs> <laughs> we're still working our way through all these so fun five, oldies you are up yeah okay so one two three four five all right so i i did kind of want to get to one of those yellows um i think what i'm going to do is I'm going to do two yellow here. I'm going to take the yellow clan emblem. And then, you know what I'm going to do is I'm also going to put this green down. And the reason sure. I'm going to do that is because by taking the clan emblem, it's a strict majority to take it back. So Yeah, John you have one. I have zero, but one in my reserve. So wouldn't automatically take two it. two to take it over. Exactly. Yeah. So it was also tempting to do like the purple here, but John has two purple, so mm-hmm. you know I kind of wanted to shore up the yellow. Yeah. Um. So then I'm gonna go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five, all the way over there, and then because I have the majority in yellow, and what's cool is, oh, oh. <laughs> you moved my castle. <laughs> well, you know what? I just wanted to kind of like uh, speak a little bit to the game here. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, are we good? Are we good? Did I do it? I yeah, we're good. we're good. Okay, roll the die, Anastasia. Blue, blue, green. Blue, blue, green. All right, that's it. So now in the next round, um, the we put new tiles out in the previous round's order. Got it, yes. So I choose now, and I could choose any of them. It still feels very open out there. I think, you know, I'm going to put my one down. Okay. Yeah, let's I see like what happens. It. I like it. So I am going to go first. I will do my two. Yeah. All right. All so right. now I can. I have to put three cubes down. I'm going to go pink, pink. Let's take the clan emblem. Is that, pr- is that pink? I've been calling it purple. All right, we'll call it pink. <laughs> this is pink, everyone. Pink. Okay. And then... I think I really I'll, violet, but let's not get in. I'll just put one yellow into my my court. What are you trying to do over there? I'm just putting a what yellow. What are you in my doing? Court. What are you trying to do? That's all I'm doing is put a yellow in my court. All right, <laughs> move, 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 move the emperor. I move once. I am in control of pink. I build a castle, and uh, you win the game if you get all ten of your castles down. So yeah, there it is. I I'd roll the dice. Green, blue, yellow. You're up. The the randomness of the dice. Uh, of the resource generation from dice is is really interesting. Yeah, at the end of your turn, so you kind of plan for it in the next turn kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. 
I think I had a plan. Okay, so I can move. So what's interesting is I played a two, but I am allowed to move one or two. It's always up two, yeah. right? And you already have the green and yellow clan markers. I do. And John doesn't have his one anymore. So, it's you know, it, it's sort of interesting. You get to decide in the next three rounds when you want to go before me. Yeah, which is sort of curious if that's what I want to do. So I might, I might play into that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put another yellow here and another green here. We're going to kind of shore this up. And then we're going to take blue. Okay. So I'm kind of kind of into that. And I think we are going to move one. I really just want to move your guy. <laughs> I think we're going to move one. Normally this is up, but we want to make it really yeah. obvious for the camera. I'm going to move one. I'm going to put my guy here. And then roll the dice. And roll the die. Red, red, blue. Red, Don't red, blue. Love that. Do not love that at all. Okay, so now I pick the token first. I think I think I'm just gonna play my two to force you to play your one if you want to go before me. I love this plan. I'd love to play my one. Yeah, I kinda figured you were probably gonna do that anyway. Yeah. Uh but hey, here we are. I thought it would take me a little longer to figure out the strategy of this game, but like immediately I was like, Oh yeah, this is how I can control the yeah. circumstances. Yeah. So this is a, a, a essentially a three player game there's a four player where like a team versus team thing but it's it's a two and three player primarily game. a two and three player game yeah yeah uh okay so you are first it's interesting i have heard that three players makes it even even harder to think through oh i'm sure i'm sure i don't know enough to know why or how but um okay merge uh oh i'm getting ahead of myself cube yes we're gonna cube and then merge so what i think we're gonna do is i think we're gonna take over red because well, it seems like fun. Thank you. Yeah. Red clan emblem. Which Love that for you. I don't know if that's... I don't know, but, you know, here we are. Okay, then we're going to move one. We have the majority in green, so we're going to do this. And then this is what happens when you have two towers next to each other. Squish. Magic. Or squish. It doesn't really oh, matter. Squish. That's probably a little Magic. bit more. Uh, and now these kind of coexist. This is never yeah. going to break apart again, so... Yeah. So and, yeah, two. you... Currently have essentially four majority power here. Exactly. Uh, okay, roll the dice. All right, roll the dice. Two yellow and a purple. Well, this is all bad. <laughs> I should have seen. I should have seen this coming. Because I can only move the emperor up to twice, which means it's going to go onto a blue already or a red already. The only thing I'm in the majority of is pink, and I have no pink cubes. I know better than to get cocky in a game like this, though. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. I, well, I'm, I'm, I can't put a tower down this turn. Oh, interesting. 100%. Really? Yeah. I, I don't, you have two. I don't have the cubes for it. Mm. Um, because I could take the yellow majority away from you, but then I can't put a yellow down. Right. Um, but you can put cubes out. To... But then I don't take the majority from you. Right. Because you have three yellow right now. Right, right, right. So, yeah, there's, there's no way. I, I should have played a bigger number. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should have played. Honestly, it's not great. You taking over red, I would have had to go one, two, three, four. That was totally random, though, because I just happened to roll I would, that. I guess my other two numbers either would have worked, because then I could take over yellow, go there, and take it from you. But, I mean, I'm, I'm going to take over yellow, so I'm going to take your emblem. Yellow was like my original love. That's well, like my OG away. clan. And then I have to move this at least once. I want to get away from all these bad colors for me, so I'll just move it twice, and I don't put anything down. This is an interesting note. Before John moved that, just to say that just because John took it away doesn't mean that this automatically switches. Right. It switches if the emperor goes back there. Yeah. Not Actually, at this point, it would not because of my towers, but just something to bear in mind. Yeah, so I... I'm not sure what I want, but I don't want to be stuck in the same situation I was uh, this turn. Okay. Oh. Okay. Next round, and you have to pick your tile first. I do. And no matter what, you're going before me. I love this plan. All right, let's let's just keep it going. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be the case for the next two. I think that's all fine. No matter what I choose, I'm going to be going second for these next two. So I'm going to go with my four. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just, I don't know why, but I'm like not ready to put things out on the board. Take the yellow back. I'm going to take the yellow back. Yeah. I mostly just took the yellow because there was literally, there was, wasn't really anything else for me to do this turn. Yeah. And then I'm going to, I sort of feel like, like this is a good section for me. So I shouldn't go that far. Right. That's why I chose the four to make sure I could get out of it. 
Yeah, and you're just going to go straight to the purple, probably. I mean, I don't know. I, you know, I'm just going to go here, I think. Yep. And then um, just toss drop the this. Tower, roll the dice. Pretty quick turns on this game. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Blue, blue, wild. I'm going to wow. take a yellow. I, I think. Uh, blue, blue. I'm not liking how these colors have been coming out so far. Take a yellow, I think. I'm not quite ready. I guess I could take over purple if I got. Let's take a purple. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's really not good. So <laughs> I, I think. Considering these are going to get very long. I think these are going to get very long. Yeah. We haven't started putting cubes on the board. You did it in the first turn, but it hasn't really. I think that really changes that dynamic a little bit, right? Yeah. We've been just kind of wrestling things back and forth. Are you going to take blue? I mean, probably not, because you have four blue. You're just going to undo it. But then if you undo it, you're not putting things on the board. Part of me thinks it feels like doing that. because. But then I would spend two cubes for you to spend two cubes to right. undo it. It doesn't feel amazing. I think I'd maybe rather hold on to this for when I could be more effective with it. It's tricky. Yeah, because I, I the dice have not been giving me pinks yeah. <laughs> for the last multiple rounds. And that's the only thing I have locked in. And you're about to take that away from me. So I'm like, yikes. So I think again, I'm I, the only. I, 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 there's maybe a better option, but oh, I only yeah, see one option. I, I really think this is the only realistically decent action, and it's not even particularly amazing. I can move this four times. I have pink and green now, so yeah, I'll go one, two. Cut. Took my tower. Oh, I did it. Now. <laughs> one, two, three, uh, and then yeah, I am currently the pink person. These will merge. Nope. All right. Um, and then I roll the dice, and please, can I get pink or green? Things that I'm good at. Okay. <laughs> pink, pink, green. Sometimes you have to to make these things happen. <laughs> All right. So it's interesting because, John, you just connected these two, but if even though I have the majority here, I mean, he still has it by yeah. total, but even if he didn't for some reason, it wouldn't matter because the emperor is not checking this one. He was checking right. this one. The emperor will check this one in the future yeah. if... It arrives there again. But if, for example, I were to take over purple, then I would have three, and then I'd want to get the emperor back here yeah. because then I would get to replace both of John's yeah. castles. So. I suspect there can be some pretty wild swings. I'm ready, John. It's, a, it's I think, did yeah. you roll? Did you get? Cute? I did, I did. So I think we just put our tokens on. All right, right, let's do it. All right, you so go you get first. to go first. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, I can move up to four times. I think it is time for me to take control of purple yep let's do that interesting the first few turns have been one two three four i don't want to say formulaic but a little bit like like yeah. i like almost like okay well, you, hey you you got the you got in a very strong position and um, <laughs> it's just gonna keep, keep i mean you've had four to my one for most of the game so far uh and it's hard to break out so yeah. far for me it's hard to break out yeah um yeah all right you roll the dice all right i roll the dice well, we have. Like maybe that's my fault for playing the tiles in such a way that you could go before me. I don't know, but going after you is also not bad. It's hard to say. Two reds, and I feel like keeping purple would be good for me. Let's see. We could take it. I'm gonna go ahead and take an extra purple with that wild. So. Yeah. By purple, I mean pink. Yes. Pink, purple, purple, pink. Yeah. Once again, I feel like. I mean, this is not a complaint. It's just like a strategic thing. I am. I've been on the back foot for the last three turns in a row, and I continue to be. I'm not sure if it's because of how the dice have been going or because of how I've been putting the tiles out. But yeah, um, bad options abound. I could steal blue and go there, which is not terrible, but not great. Um, this is super threatened. I should probably take pink back. You could not take it back from me. That's the thing. You have four blue, so at any point, you can just swing back and take blue. And red. Yeah. You did short up with green, though. Yeah. It's interesting. You have done some good defensive blocking because you've been, like, you're placing things in between. So. Yeah. 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 I, 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 yeah. Uh, let's see. I think, I mean, I think I have to take pink back. Okay. That's two cubes. My purple, John's pink, whatever. Yep. <laughs> and then, so you can't take pink from me on your next turn. Mm -mm. And you cannot take green from me on your next turn. Mm -mm. So that's something i could put a green here but then i'd have two power to your three so i would not be taking that over unfortunately if i had had three greens just randomly from the dice then i absolutely would have done that i would just like plop three here and then taking this over but that's not 
what the dice have been giving me. I mean, I guess I put a green here? Yeah, because it doesn't really help me this turn. What am I even doing this turn, then? Yikes. This is this is all bad. <laughs> so I can go one, two, three, four, five. I can't take any of those over. I don't think there's a there's an, there's no way I can take any of those over this turn. Unless you don't take back purple and you take blue. Yes. And then you go put a thing on blue. And then you immediately take blue back, but at least I have a token on the board. Well, every time that you feels... add one of these, you add a majority, yeah, right? By it, it feels pretty tentative. But then you could put a green cube on it, so then you kind of hold it. Yeah. Anywhere you have a purple, you put uh, a green. I guess, yeah, I guess I have to undo this. Yeah. Uh, if I want to put one of these down, and maybe I'm overemphasizing that? I don't know. But yeah, so I'll go here with the two blue, and I'll take the blue from you. You will likely take it back immediately. <laughs> this might be a quick turn, because I don't think there's anything I can do to stop you from taking this next round, which is, well, we'll just have to see. Um, so I've done two cubes. I guess that is the reason not to move over there. But, yeah, I mean. It's, yeah, it, it's, it's tough. It's I mean, kind I can of move a choice. once and not put a thing down. But then. But then you took the blue. Yeah, I mean, you're placing a towel before me. So if this is here, it's one, two, three, four, five, Actually, and you, you put, put a five down. you put green here, then you shore this up for you, right? Because even, even if I took it back, I'd have to take back blue, and we'd still be three, three. I don't take it over. Yeah. So that's why you got to put, if you put the green down. Yeah, I guess I probably should put the green down somewhere. Sure. You have convinced me. I'm not sure if that's <laughs> actually super strong, but it yeah, holds we'll go it, it. Holds it for a turn. Yeah, right? so I'll go one, two, three, and yeah. uh, and I'll take this over for the moment anyway, and then I'll roll the dice, and it's pink, blue, yellow. Okay, so, all right. So yeah, we pull these back. So who goes first? You do because do. you put a four to my five last round. Okay, all right. So interestingly. This, the way this is, even if I take blue back, it uh, ends up looking like this. Three to three. Three to three. So now it's true that I could take blue back and, and put it, a cube on there. Right, because you have tons of blue. Which I didn't think of when I was advising you. <laughs> but you can't do that before me. Right, because I would need to put five down. Oh, that was yeah. smart, John. Whether uh, that, you plan that or not, that was I smart. was thinking about that. That like if you were to try and make a big move, at least I could go before you and try to I don't know, mess something else up. We'll see. Yeah. I I, I will admit I continue to roll terribly. And by terribly I mean I cannot roll the cubes for which I currently have a majority, which means I can kind of tentatively take majorities away from you, but it does not it so far has not given me the option yeah. to actually shore things up. Yeah. Like I would I would I guess I got one blue, but but you're going to stomp blue. Like I desperately wanted greens. Yeah. And and even pinks because at least I have an advantage there. We'll see. Yeah, you really have no control over these. Like yeah. Each die is five-sided yeah. of each color. I might be playing wild. it wrong, but so far I felt very hamstrung by by the die, by the, yeah. the cube colors What I is have. that? Like a, you have a 30% chance of rolling what you want if you consider yeah. the wild and the color, Something right? Something like that. Something yeah. like that. 2 out of 6. So, so you're you're moving one. I'm going to do one. Um, that means, let's see, you're going there for sure. Yeah. I'm going to, my goal, I think I'm just going to kind of keep shoring up these yeah. little islands. Yeah. Before makes, we start fighting over them. That makes sense for sure. So if you do that, uh, I think I'm probably still okay doing my two. So yeah, I'll do my two. Now you go. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to keep, like you said, like doubling down a little bit here to try and hold mindful that you're going to do whatever it is you're going to do i do think it's interesting you can see exactly the cubes you totally can't the I, other person has i do realize like when i was advising you like that point about how you are going to go before me if i move five like maybe you should have put your green in front of you to shore up green more i don't know this is very important though yeah and, and this area is all kind of terrible for me because i'm not going to be taking red away from you and it's it's a red and yellow area i'm not taking yellow away from you either so yeah that's why i was like eh so I have to spend a bunch of blue to keep blue, or do I shore up red? Like I don't know how much to keep trying to like like yeah. bleed you versus. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so far, um, is... starting your starting your turn with one majority is tough. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do it. I'm yeah. sorry, John. I mean, that's the game. If we're showing the uh, the brutal part of this game, we don't know yet, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> like yeah. we, we played Caesar the other day. Today, <laughs> we play other games. Uh, sometimes when you know them, you kind of know like how brutal they're gonna be. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, am I, am I maybe? Like, I, I don't know. Like, maybe I'm in a fine position. Maybe I'm already out of the game entirely. Uh, is it because of the dice, or is it because I'm bad? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find right, out. We're though. gonna find out. So we'll do that. 
roll red yellow green yeah all right okay i guess you can't help but roll things that you can strengthen because you keep having four out of the five just kind of expected it would more often be two to three (laughs) (laughs) but it's uh it's surprisingly hard to get out of this jam so i can move twice which was my plan so i think i have a single option available to me maybe there's a second one but i guess that's the other thing that's like slightly annoying so far every turn i feel like i have one route to like i could do essentially nothing or do this one thing and hopefully this one thing is good depends on what you like right like if you don't want to have a lot of choices (laughs) yeah Uh, but but like only having one of these it definitely feels like that so anyway i take pink back all right pink you Uh, still have one cube to place i still have one cube to place and i'll put it here and then i move twice which means oh wait no i don't have a majority here Mm -mm. oh my gosh yeah I think there are some turns where you just have to. That's been you know. my entire game. <laughs> I'm trying to put on a happy face, but so far, but so far every turn has been like you have one option and it's bad. But the thing is, if you put the yellow down right, then we're tied. All you need is one more yellow cube. Like maybe. But I might not get it, and you already have one in your supply. But then you force me to keep shoring it up, right? Get but, my attention off of taking things back yeah, from you. But you st- you already have three, so like that's the thing. Like me doing that. You're going back and forth between three and four majorities, and I'm going back and forth between one and two. So that but leaves a lot more flexibility. The like the dice is, are much more likely to give you cubes that match something that you're 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 defending versus offending. But look at the situation, right? Like I currently can't take back purple next turn, and I can't take back green. So if you start to threaten blue, red, or yellow, I'm going to be forced to hold them, which right. then gives you the opportunity on the following turn. If I roll correctly. Exactly. Yeah. But you you could you know shore up purple more like and make it so that you don't have to worry about that anymore. I think that's part of the thing. It's like how much do you want to shore up purple? Do you want to start threatening for red? I mean, this literally feels like a car race, right? Like yeah. where you're just going and it's like when are you going to make your move, right? Like, right. Yeah, maybe something big will happen. But yeah, I, I can't put a castle down again. So I guess. And the question is too, like how protected is this? Is I mean, it's still actually yeah. pretty protected. Like you. Yeah, I mean, I guess I have to just put this pink here, and then. You're gonna shore that up, right? Yeah. yeah. And then now... move the king twice so that you can't go here. Yep. And uh, yeah, okay. I mean, that is a turn. That's pretty good because the thing is, I can't really, <laughs> I can't take green, right? So. That is true. Yeah. I, I, all right, blue, blue, yellow. I continue to not roll colors that I'm, I'm good at. <laughs> That's good though, because now you can take over. Like, now you have enough to take over yellow. So now I need to shore these up if I want to keep them. I suppose so. But and the, you now have enough to take over When you blue don't roll too. the color cubes that you're good at, you can't affect it. I guess my concern is I've put out th- four castles and you've put out six, which yeah. is not a lot, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you have three combined areas and this is not long for the world. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Um, you've done a good maybe job. I'll, though. Maybe I'll pull this out and win it somehow, but, but so far I've felt. Um, on the rough side of things this game. John has done a good job of splitting me here because I can't merge these, which would yeah. make them awesome, right? Because yeah. one of the end game conditions is just getting four yeah. merged areas. I mean, the thing is, if you if you take these two, I think you just win the game as well. Yeah, well. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, anyway, I you pick first. Pick first. Five. I actually don't know if that's a good choice because you're now going to have the ability to go before me, which means you will take majorities before me. So I'm immediately regretting that decision, but I've taken my hand off I was going to go before you regardless. Were you? I guess so, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I guess you could have forced me to have to play my one if I wanted to go before you. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's tricky. It's interesting because now this is your opportunity to overtake me, right? Because now I could go into my turn with without having yellow and without having blue. Yeah. And... Or, or without having one of those. Like, you're going to have true. three majorities, probably. That is true. So, yeah, you're going five, one, two, three, four. Obviously, you're going after me. I'm just trying to... So, nothing yeah. I can do can stop you from getting here. Unless you place a... Nothing. Because it, it, one, and then one, two, three, four, five. If I play a one, you still get here. Right, right. I still get yeah, there. Yeah, so right. nothing I can do can stop that. Um, but you can shore it up. What am I doing here? I already have green, so I guess that's probably a good idea. I guess I'll just do the... Three, maybe the four, just to leave myself with the more options to go ahead of your four. Sure, I'll go with the four. Um, okay, so I go first. I don't have to put paladins down at all because I can just move the king to either of these green spots. Probably this one to to make a th- size three. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Oh, that's smart. I think this is the first 
this is the first turn where I have options in, in <laughs> since, the, <laughs> since the first turn, which is it's good. It feels good to have options. Yeah. So I spend all of my actions taking blue away from you. I could spend two actions taking yellow, and then I guess just do a blue as well to make you scared. That's probably the best thing for me to do. So yeah, I'll take over yellow. Oh, Ken, my OG. I know, I know. And this time I'll actually keep it. <laughs> uh, for a turn. <laughs> and then I'll put another blue here. That does not change things. I have three, you have four. Uh, so I could take it over next turn, potentially. You have a blue as well. And then I'll, yeah, I'll go one, two. I control green. So I've got a size three. I feel, feel a yeah. little better now. Feeling a little yeah. better. Uh, okay. And the fact that you control green... Is and I don't have a lot of green. Is yeah. I mean, I barely control it, but I do control it enough for you to not take it this turn. Okay, and then I roll the dice. I was feeling really confident <laughs> my yellow. Oh my god. Okay. I, is that? It, it's probably good. I think that's good because I think that's good because then I could just like throw these onto the board. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's kind of helpful to be like. I was okay, mostly laughing at the wow three in a row. This is all. I know you, <laughs> Yahtzee. I sort of feel like this is like how our troops are. Yeah, no, that was good. Up. That was that was good. Uh, yeah, man, I felt like suffocated starting with one each round. Yeah. Uh, having that, getting this breather to actually start with two. It's like okay, that, I that's think much that's better. part of the. I mean, that's inherent to so many of these like kind of dual games. Of, I yeah, think a little no, bit. Very much. You're like trying to pull someone until like you know you can't like. No, it's true. You know, like, and, and, you know, us not, well, me in particular, not having ever played this game, you functionally never. It's like, it's really hard to tell, like, is this fine? Yeah, are you on your is back Is this fine, foot? or yeah, should, or should we rack up and, and do it again, you know? Well, um, it's sort of like, uh, when we played some other games together that, like, have just, you know, where you have a bunch of tiles and I don't have a bunch of tiles, it, it, it makes it so... Sometimes when I know the game, it, I'm like, okay, no, this is it. It's okay. I'm kind of on my back foot. I yeah. know I can come back from this. The game can switch in a minute. And I do feel like this is one of those games, but of course we haven't played it, so yeah, I don't know. I think, well, especially considering, like, depending on how things go, we're talking like the game is over already. Yeah. Um, uh, it's a fast I, game. The box says 30 to 45 minutes, yeah, which for us, us is three hours. So. <laughs> um, it, like, I, I feel much more in the game now. Like, that feels good. Um, and just knowing that, like, these can swing so hard, like, if yeah. you find a way to take over this, which you could, I lose three, you gain three. Yeah. Uh, and then, so I maybe but there's like five castle swings at the end of the game. I don't know. Either way. The rule book uh, does say that it's pretty rare to take over someone's defended territory, which I think is interesting. Huh. Um, Because I, I would think if I put a red here, right? But again, like I have to get to six. I have, so no, you need to get to seven. I have to put all of these so, here. Yeah, and I can not, feel that. You know, and that's only five, right? Yeah. Like you, you. And that is part of the reason why I was really worried taking multiple turns where I could not put tokens down. Right. But, um, but yeah, that feels good. All right, so you are you can move five. So this is a I'm in a really interesting position, right? Because right now, and again, I don't actually know where we are in the state of the game either, yeah. which is part of this because the rulebook also says it's it's kind of rare, not rare, but it's more advised to build up your paladins here before you start putting them out on. The rondelle yeah. until you get to the end game. I'm like, well, is this the end game? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Because I feel like I really need to take this. Yeah. In order no, for I me to take too. it, I have to put these both of these out, right? Because John has the power of two. Two to zero. I'd have to put out three, three. actually. I have to put out all all three of these. But then you'd have a five region. But I'm leaving red and I'm and he can take over blue in an instant, right? So yeah, it, that is but that is a thing. It will pull it all together. Yeah, yeah. But then immediately, he's he, like, here he's saying, "Oh, it's so hard to have one." We're literally about to change where he is going to have four yeah. majorities. But I'm going to have this. No, I, yeah, I can kind of tell. It, this th epic, that is shifting already. I feel like that's what I have to do. I think I got to do this. I would be hard pressed not to do it. And that's going to be one, two, three, four. That yeah. that just three to two. Three to two. So I lose that. You lose that. You gain it. I lose this, but then it merges. It becomes Mega Land. But what's interesting <sighs> is let's actually divvy those up based on majorities right now. Because yeah, for sure. So That's my side. Let's see. You have red and blue. So currently it's five to eight. Five to eight. But John takes over blue, then it's seven to six. Yeah. I have to get back around here, but of course the this rondelle's getting smaller faster. Yeah, so that I I mean I'm I'm glad to have done that, but like I feel it's dangerous. I feel yeah. like I gotta get cubes on there. Yeah. Um, no, I, I yeah, that's that's definitely interesting. 
So, all right, let's roll. Be nice to replenish the coffers a little bit here. Oh my gosh, Ooh. wild, wild pink. All right, so let's take that pink. I mean, gosh, I think I really need to protect yellow and, or gosh, do I take two blues? Oh, yellow and red feel like my most dangerous because there's only one blue on there. Yeah. Getting yellow back from you and protecting red. I'm already kind of protected in red. I mean, you can put both of those out. And I still wouldn't take it over. But it's good because it could let me take over something else, right? Right. So, oh, gosh. What a, what a quandary. I think I think I need to make sure. Oh, or I take over purple from you. That's dangerous in a lot of ways. This is funny. Yeah. Oh, because if I do that, how many purples do you have? I have five. So I get... You just take... Yeah, you could just put three purples there. I'm going to take another purple and a yellow because I think... Okay. I think what that does is how many purple... You have six yellows. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I don't know. I don't know, John. You can take over one on your next turn. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a red. A red. Okay. I, right. I, I truly I'm not sitting here thinking, oh, I want you to do this or that. I'm like, I have no idea what's have gonna no happen. Idea. Uh, I but, don't know if you need like need them to throw them out. I think it's I mean it's cool. Okay. Yeah, Let's it is. Go. So I, I choose now. Yep. If I choose the three, you can go before me with a two. Right. Uh and if you did that, you currently control blue and red. So you could take this and make <laughs> you could take this away from me if you go before me. Make a super castle. So I, I, I have to. Oh man, that feels bad. Because I play this one, I, I move here. I already control it. So, yeah. but I could uh, just kind of take things away from you. I guess. I think I have to do that. I mean, yeah. half is is maybe a strong word. But if I <laughs> if I don't play the one, you come, you remove this, put one You're down, right, and, and I you just, have a we, yeah. Gosh, the choices are so interesting. Yeah. I mean, I, I actually don't think I have a choice yeah, this, it's this turn. The, the, the choices you don't have are yes. so interesting. <laughs> yeah. Last turn, I had I had some choices. Um, yeah. This one, maybe not so much. We'll see. All right. So I'm going to go with the one. Well, I don't know how much. I kind of want to keep my two, so I have the option of going before you on the next round. Same thing with the three. No, because you could play the three and then. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter whether I play the three or four. It's it's really just a question of if I'm going to play before your five. It's see, how far do I want to get? I guess. I mean, I guess I could try to make a play on that somehow. I don't know if I'm going to have enough resources. I don't really think that's your focus. No. I think your focus is just glomming on, like, these all these little little freebies on the sides. I think so. Um, I think I'll play. I think I'll play my four. Okay. So I go first. And obviously the emperor is going to move there and nothing happens, which is a lot better than you taking it. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, I, I have to take blue from you. Uh, Harry was saying he only had four clan mar one clan marker. Yeah, no, I, I, I did for three <laughs> turns in a row. And now I, yeah. I'm hoping it's the case for you because I need to find a way to fight back against this. So I have... Which does, I'm sort of keeping score here just for the my own edification, but that now yeah. makes that that, right? So Yeah, so seven to <laughs> six. This has to get back around, but yes, this is getting pretty small. Uh, so I have one more. You can't take over on green. I could just put pressure on red. That would put me to three. You're at four. I don't know. That's not really feeling, not feeling like pressure. Maybe I should just put this green out somewhere. Yeah, shore up. Shore up something. Or like should i try to make a play at this thing that would definitely be interesting <laughs> <laughs> if i somehow managed to take this over you're right it's got to get all the like, way around i don't around. feel like that needs to be shored up right now or if you take that away from me it's game anyway and i don't think you're in a good position for it i think i need to do this so and then the emperor moves and nothing happens and then i roll three dice and it's yellow blue wild so see, see, I think I would have probably put the green here because then even if I take over yellow, I can't take this over. Oh. You know what I mean? You're welcome to do that if you want to. But I see what you're saying. Because like by the time that goes back around, I may control yellow and blue. Like I, I do think these are good. I think these big ones are harder to take. I think your, I think your focus on me is the same on the focus on you, which is like these little ones keeping us from from glomming these onto our islands, right? Yeah. Okay. You know. Mm. Sure. 
You, you I don't want to talk you into it. No, though. you make a good point. I mean, I'm just trying to like put your feet to the fire, but your feet are already kind of to the fire here already. Well, I'm going to take back yellow, right? So I'm going to take it back right. right now, and then that's going to not even be... And then right. you're going to have to take it back again and yeah. blah, blah, blah. And then blah. you're just going to win this, but winning that's better than winning this. Because then I can connect them, right? Yeah, you're right. So th- that's a better play. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, so then, let's see, my green is fine. Yellow. So I have six. You have five. You could go to, you're, you're going to go to seven. So if I got one more yellow, I could go to eight and take yellow back. Um, which, there's not actually that many yellow out here, but there are two very conspicuously there. I'm just trying to figure out what the right... See, are you going to take over pink? You have five pink. I have five, so you can't take over pink this turn. I'm going to take a yellow. All right, I'm done. Well, I don't like that, but I think that is the right play for you. Yeah. So I'm going to take yellow back. Yes. Most definitely. You have one more cube. And then I think that I'm going to shore up red. Although I don't necessarily have to. I could put pressure on green, which yeah. would make it so that you stop putting greens out to stop me. Yeah. Um, and I could come for purple. Or I can put a red out. Like, I guess, oh, I guess I could put a red out here and then take it. Oh, yeah. Gosh, I keep talking you into things and then. No, let's just pretend like I didn't do that then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Because, yeah, there's nothing. You going there, I can't stop you from doing that. So, yeah, go for it. Okay. I keep thinking I understand the strategy of this game, and then like I'm like, oh, that's a play. Wait, well, no, actually, I can circumvent that. You, I do feel like there's. It's hard to know. It's hard to know what you're what, going back and forth. What like, they could do. All it's right, easy so, to be like, oh, they can't do this, and then be like, oh wait, no, I just misunderstood the rules. They exactly, can. exactly. <laughs> all right, so um, so I put two in yellow. I took back yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and put this red out, and what that's gonna do is let me put a tower here, which I didn't think I could do, but that. that you don't even need the red to take that tower now because you have yellow. Oh right. Okay, so now that we've kind of. You know, it's a funny thing about John and I. I think we, we oftentimes try to give each other strategy because these games are so open and you can kind of see good plays, but it then it's hard to be like, oh, wait, no. Yeah, especially keep, on a first play, right? I like, keep thinking this is a weird game you too. can hold things, but then like you can't, right? So, okay, so I think I think at this point I'm doing pretty good here. Like I don't, I think I just want to shore up red. Um, yeah, that makes sense. It's hard though because you're going to come. Can you take yellow back? Yes. Then I feel like I need to hmm, like put put pressure on you for green. Yeah. Or something, right? Because like I I have a pretty good hold on red, and I am holding reds. But right. kind of the advice I was giving you earlier that that now I'm giving myself is like, make sure you have enough of whatever it is. You know, like make sure you're pushing towards getting a majority back, right? Like. Right. So I think I'm gonna do that. All right. So I put two yellows here, and one green here. And, and um, you move up to four times. And I move up to four times. So I'm just going to move here. Yep. Um, I'm just going to put this on here. This is going to join. And now these are all like this. And then you so roll the dice. That. <sighs> okay. Roll the dice. All right. So yellow, purple. Well, that was good. Yeah. And let's take a green because. Yeah. It means you can't use your greens as aggressively. Yep. All, All right. right. Um, Although I... you're going to take back yellow. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. Ooh, John. Do I force you to spend it on green or do I take the yellow so I can guarantee I take yellow? All right. I'm going to take the green because you know why? You take yellow back, I'll take purple. Yeah. So... <laughs> But I don't really think, again, I don't think I have the option. I think I must take the yellow back. <laughs> John, um, John, John thinks he has choices. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, lo- I'm looking for the choices. So All right. Uh, I do have a choice between three and five. This yeah. is definitely a choice. Uh, if I do the three, oh, it doesn't matter, actually. Uh, you can choose to go before me either way. No, the three, it's the first person who plays. You but go you just first. play your two. Oh, yeah, smart. Yes, yeah. smart. So you play those correctly, I think. So if I just do my five... Then you're guaranteed to go before me in next round, so I should probably do the three. Hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter, actually. No, the th- oh yeah. Because if I do the three, it doesn't matter what you do, you go before me. If I do the five, you go before me. So you're yep. going first the next two rounds, I think, guaranteed. So it's more about the reach. Um, you, If I put the three down and you want to go before me, you must play the two, which means you can only get to here. You currently maybe could take it over i'm honestly not even sure i'm just i'm gonna play my three 
Okay. Yeah, I don't see any world where I take this over. I would need a. And it's not really what you should do. You have two towers left. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play my two, and uh, and I will take over purple. Yeah. I mean, well, let's see. How many do I have to play? All three. I take over purple, or I shore up yellow and keep you from just getting it. I don't, man. I think I'm gonna take over purple. I think it's a little bit more interesting. Okay. So, let's take over purple. This is just really for our edification. Yeah. Just like kind of to understand. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to go here, put this tower on here. Yeah. And get this this bad boy kind of coming together here. And then you roll the dice. And then I roll the dice. Two greens. Oh, man. And a yellow. That's well, what I'm going to do. I think that is definitely game. Is that... <laughs> I mean, it, it was game already, but I think that's definitely game. Uh, there's no way I can stop you from taking this next round. Mm. Uh, you get to go before me. I mean, uh, we well, get to go right now. So yeah, that is true. That is technically true. So I can't stop you from taking green. Is what I mean. Mm. Uh, which maybe is fine. I can't take over red. I can't stop you here. I can take this for whatever that's worth. You can't take over blue, and I can't take over pink. So essentially. Take over yellow because why not? There is a lot of thinking in this game, <laughs> which is it's not necessarily bad, but wow. I mean, if you add this, this and is do not that. a like toss cubes around kind of game. No, I mean, I am think I am going to do that because again, I'm I'm seeing a, a glimmer of a light at the end of one tunnel, maybe. Yeah, I would but put probably not. <laughs> I would do it. One so, green in, one green and blue out. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> so I'll put those for my there. science experiment. Yes. Can we see if my science experiment works to yeah. to, to keep John? I certainly don't see a better move. So then I'll go here. None to of this stop is good for me, by the way. But yeah, uh, I, I could be wrong, uh, but I, I feel like the end has been foregone for for some time now. Let's see. Uh, so I'm gonna go here. I put this here. These merge, and then. I roll the dice. All right, so this is clearly yellow, green, yellow. Okay, so it's my turn. So I'm gonna go first. So three. And then um, I have to go. You five. have to go five. All right. So now we're gonna see if the plan that I suggested John did to mess me up actually is a thing, which I, I think that it is because my initial plan was to just put these three down on here make that happen but uh, the thing is i can't that's that's three versus three right and then if i want to take over the green he's got four i have three so i'd have to put down at least two to take over the green and then i could only add one and yeah. it's still two versus two so there actually isn't a way for me to take that over i can only move three which means you can easily take this over but can i take that over easily. i guess i can right because yeah. yeah. i just easily you just put three cubes on I it. I just put three cubes on it, and then that's that. All yeah. right. that's So we didn't even see that because yeah. of the way we were. Yeah, then you go it. one, two, three, and then, yeah, you kick this out, and then you combine it. Combine it, and then it's. That's all your, your towers. Boop. Yeah. What a frustrating game. Interesting. I got to be honest. Like, I don't want to necessarily <laughs> sugarcoat it. Um, Fascinating. I mean, I, I felt like I was you losing really the whole game, and then one. I lost. <laughs> I don't mind losing games. Yeah. It, it's frustrating when you don't feel like you have good choices or even choices at all like if your yeah. choice is between nothing and mediocre yeah that's tough i mean yeah. I, th those three rounds where i started with just one yeah you know i put two less towers down yeah in those rounds because I, I just i mean maybe there's some way i could have done something prior but i genuinely think the way the dice rolled just yeah. did not give me those options and then and then when you don't have towers out here, there's a lot less to defend for you. There's less options for for combining. I mean, it it was never close. I, I don't. I think this game was was actually over like two or three turns in. Yeah. Um. Like not even rounds. Like like two or three turns, which is I don't know. Maybe a much better player at this game would have been able to figure out a way to deal with this. Like I'm I'm sure. Yeah, I a better player could have done better with my experience. Yeah, I mean, but I... it was so lopsided. I think that I imagine with experience, it just it does balance that out because I can see that kind of like net of like like this being a really interesting situation, right? Like it wasn't clear if you just taking green back, like it doesn't like there's ways to defend spaces by throwing your cubes on by preventing right. things, and then I think there's a really interesting dynamic of puzzle there. Um, I just don't know if 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 like 
you know, kind of to your point, like if if I'm always going to want to do that, like if the game gives me enough to make that back right. and forth interesting, because it's hard with these games where you're like on your back foot, and you know, in order in order to like go through those machinations, you got to feel like a little hope. And I think what was hard is even though it switched back almost immediately, the damage was already done. You were like you felt so deep. You already in. you already had this, and you already had a two castle advantage on me. Yeah. And, and like I said, like I had these like tiny little barely undefended things between this cluster. Yeah, by the time I got control again, I mean, the holes were massive in my ship and I was sinking. I think the turn order thing is really interesting. I kind of realized early on that like if I, based on the colors that had come out, that I think there was like red, yellow, red, and that was kind of what I was focusing on. I was yeah. like, oh, if I just go one, then I can get these together. And so I think you in the beginning, there is some element of like grouping your things together while yeah. also defending, while also pulling back and forth. I mean, I think this is a fast game, right? Like, I think it's pull, 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 do, like, you know, like, just a kind of back and forth little, like, chess-like situation. Yeah. I mean, um, I, I think where, you know, my decisions hurt me was in the first round. Yeah. I'm sure I could have put things out differently. Yeah. Because I don't know how to play the game. It's my first play. Yeah. Um, but so so maybe a more experienced person would have been more deft with those so that I wasn't going second for like the last three rounds of the uh, three turns of the first round. Yeah. Um, still felt bad. <laughs> still <laughs> genuinely didn't feel. I mean, honestly, I've heard people say this is really good at two. After one experience, I don't think I'd ever play this at two again. Really? This was honestly kind of miserable. I was just. I don't know if I'd ever play this at three. Like, I, I mean, I, I guess... think it requires three. I don't because know. Because then if somebody happens to get in a good position because they roll the dice well, there are two people to rein right, them in. Right, to pull the back and forth. It's, it's Maybe, when it's yeah, just two the people. two back and forth. Like, when things go yeah. off kilter, like, this is, like, it's kind of a uh, rich gets richer sort it's of situation. Yeah, it's hard for me to say that because I did feel like I had, you have more control into, but of course, to your point, you at least you know it seemed like I oftentimes was in control at least in the early game. Yeah, and I, then I you feel like if you had been sitting away. here playing the game I did, you would maybe feel the same way. Yeah, you know, because I I was I had no control. Yeah, um, I essentially had like one button per per turn round. It seemed like I could play, and all it did it's it got me to parity with you, or I almost caught up a little bit. So like every turn, I either caught back to zero or you got a little bit ahead of me. Yeah, every single turn, yeah. and I. I it, that's, but I think with three, uh, then you can potentially have two people be like, oh, that person is doing too well. Yeah, maybe, yeah, I don't know. I, it's a strong statement to make, I guess, but like that was genuinely not fun. I gotta be <laughs> honest with you, that was not a fun game, and I, I like having fun. Like, I think yeah. if it was three players, that would, that would change things significantly. But, uh, losing maybe because of decisions I made early and then continuing to lose and then f like maybe I'm just reading into it too much but every single most of the time I rolled the dice I was like that's exactly what I didn't want yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and yeah. that's that is just very frustrating well I think one of these games that's really difficult is that this is you know the dice in this game are this is a dice based like the dice are so important the yeah. resource generation is dice based I mean we've talked about this a lot because you know I love Grand Austria Hotel and you don't um, because, you know, when dice are dictating so much and the role, that luck of the die, yeah. you know, like you weren't getting what you needed to shore up your positions, nor were you At getting At least it felt like not. Like, yeah, again, yeah, yeah, somebody yeah. better, like, I've played this one once. I don't want to, like, be, like, uh, sound like an authority. But yeah, yeah, yeah. first impressions are important. And my first impression was... I can't, you know, I can't get ahead. I, 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 yeah, I was like locked in the back of a car careening off a cliff for for, for, for pretty much the whole game. And that, I'd rather feel like I, I had, was at the steering wheel at least as I careened off the cliff. I would be fascinated if anyone watching this has played this game before and has some thoughts on how he played or some strategy. Like, oh, I'm sure I would be, you could play this one better than I did. I, yeah. I, well, both of us, I'd be curious like what, like what we did wrong or what we would do or what are we not thinking about? Because I, I mean, I, we obviously started to see the depth near the end of like, like where these choices were. And I think they're not obvious. I think it's not, you know, at the beginning it feels very simple, like add cubes to your area, but like, it's clearly not just that. I think it is that element of like, okay, I'm ahead on this, but I also need to make sure that I'm like pushing you on this to like control where you are able to use your cubes. I think that's a big piece of it is yeah. controlling what you have to do. Cause like we started to do that. If you push me on yellow, well then I have to keep yellow, right? right? Like, and so. But you have to roll yellow to be able to push yellow. Right, but you can kind of see. There that. were a couple times where I had that, and there were there were sometimes. But where, you're right where I because then the randomness comes in. It's like, okay, I'm doing that. Also, I'm I'm genuinely curious what the the wild count was. 
I, I might be wrong, but I feel like I rolled two wilds the whole game, and I feel like you rolled at least twice as many as that. And and like every wild is, cr- like I almost honestly feel like this shouldn't be a wild. I feel like it should be a reroll. Yeah. Like it is so powerful. Well, uh, but there was that one round where you rolled pink wild wild, and I like that I, that happened. I was just like. Okay, I, I think I lost already, but now I'm... Because you just pick the right thing because you can look across. And I feel like if there was three players, there's just... Maybe it's harder to track things. Maybe maybe I wouldn't enjoy it at three as well, but at least I feel like there's like a chance, like two people ganging up on, on one person until things maybe equalizes a little bit. Yeah, you know, how, the, how the push and pull, like, I yeah. don't know. I think like, I was kind of hoping to see big swings. We, we saw no big swings. Yeah. Like, nobody took over... Nobody ever took over even, I think... A two? I think the rule book says though that that's very that's unlikely. That's rare. Yeah. So I think you really are competing for which those lends to the despair when you're when you have when I had like this and you had two two two. Right. And I was like, it feels like I've lost this game already. Uh, and, it, and if if big swings later on are rare, then that adds credence to that. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it. it, it I I would definitely try this one at three. Yeah. I, I don't think I would be interested in trying it two again, but I am really happy I finally got to play this one because yeah. I, I, like the mechanical designs in here are, are quite interesting. Like, the idea of you know sort of stocks almost you know like these are sort of your units but sort of not the way they can change is pretty fascinating. I like the idea of the turnover mechanism and I, and I do think I probably in a lot of ways lost the game because I played this poorly at the beginning like i like a lot of the ideas unfortunately just came together to a a, a kind of miserable first play i think that this is a great cliffhanger because (laughs) i am i am going to lend you this game and you're gonna go play it with two other people yeah i probably will and then Uh, you're gonna make an opinions episode that (laughs) will be a patreon exclusive so um but i think you'll you'll let people know in your monthly vlog if there's an update on careless magnet yeah i genuinely would like to we'll find out if john likes it with uh and honestly, you know, if if somebody was to like wring my my arm, I, I would try it too, just to see if this was like, you know, maybe just bad luck. Yeah. Like, like sometimes, sometimes a first play just goes poorly. Maybe this was uh, an outlier. I think. I, that, I think that's how these Colvinis are, though. Like, I mean, we both like Leo Colvini, but I do look at him with a grain of salt sometimes because of these older designs. They're so different than what we play now. Yeah. We play games now that are balanced. They are complex, but they are, you know, they, there's a lot of effort has gone into balance, and I think these older designs. They are. They're more cutthroat. They rely on luck. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't play a lot of Euros. I, I bring up Grand Australia Hotel because it's probably the most luck-based Euro that I play. Yeah. Um, because, you know, a lot of Euros are about mitigating that luck and, and having as little luck and more strategy and all of these things. And so I think you play these games, and it is it can just be a lot more cutthroat, especially when you're resource generation. I mean, you have no way to control these. Yeah. Like, yeah. And so it's, it is adapting, but it's a hard thing to adapt to. There, there's... Just, there's I'm sure someone smarter than me was. There's just a lot of layers, you know, yeah. going back and forth. But yeah, absolutely. It was fun. Well, thank you for bringing it over. Totally. <laughs>